that for a while, huh? Mm-hmm. Ain't that good? Once you get it right in there, mm-hmm. see that log of stand up square in there? Yep. That's half inch thick, and I want to overlap half inch. And when I stand it up in this corner, it's even with both of them at the same time. Mm-hmm. Imagine that. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. And then I'll drive me one. Good job. Yeah. Once I get the wall built.
why it's hard to do anything with this called sap. It really? It's called sapwood. Mm hmm. It's harder to work with than that. It's a little bit softer. That's the reason why every nail I try to drive through it, it wants to lay over. Yeah. You're sweet. Oops, a little bit too much right there. I'm gonna turn you like. I'll turn you this way, and hopefully, I can avoid problems. That knot in it right there, and I do not want to have to drive nothing down through that knot. Mm -hmm. Not if I can hit it, because it's liable to bust it. Yeah, right there. Seven inches. Okay. Seven. Well, uh, well, I'll start, I'll start using it a lot of them short paces yet. You have to go in and use the short pieces on each side of this stone. Uh huh. And you see, you got a real short piece there, and then that in the third ain't but a half inch longer than this piece in here. Mm -hmm. So, and for until I build up above where the door's going to be. It's going to require a lot of short pieces. Yeah, sure is. And then I have to lay out how to figure out, you know, you decide on how big I want to make the door. I want to make it the same as this one. And I use one, two, three, four, five, six logs in the making of that door. That door, that door's made out of logs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just put together. What I do, I take and put to get glue and nail together six of them like it right there. Oh, and it becomes my door. Oh. Oh, if you put too much, you just make a mess. Yeah. And I try to stop before I get the end to give it room to, to mash out. 
Makes sense. I'm going to try to do it this way. Start to lay the log down on this outside and roll this jungle way so it will push it to the inside. Yeah. That way what does, if any does, squish out and make a mess. You ain't going to see it on the inside. Not unless you really do some looking. I mean, you'd have to open the door and shine a flashlight in there or something. Yeah. I sanded over that one and resprayed the top of it a little bit the other evening. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now that's what I was talking about. Now you see, see the uh, that white in it. Uh huh. Now when I burn, when I build the roof, I mean, I, I, I bring that white right across down here. On each side, and it looked like still it looked like uh, snow on the roof. things up. <laughs> what are you listening to? Trying to figure out for sure what that is hollering. Some kind of bird. Mm. Is it a bird? I'm not sure. Sounds like peep frogs to me. Is that what it is? Now that's P-E-E-P. -E -E peep. Not P, not P. Right. Now, peep frogs. Mm -hmm. When they start hollering, it's fishing weather. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Now, my uncle's mother, which we called her little grandma, but she really wasn't, a relate, she really wasn't related to me. But we called her grandma anyway. And uh, she used to say, when people would say, no, peep frogs is a holler, it's uh, good fishing weather, she'd say, yeah, and they could wake up looking through a, peeping through a glass window. Uh. And a lot of people don't understand what she meant by that. See, so they live in the, in the water, in, in, the, in the creeks, down the creek and stuff. Mm -hmm. And what she was getting at is, even though it's springtime, it still can get cold enough to put them looking through a little skim of ice. And, they, you know, oh. and that's what she meant by a glass Isn't that something? She'd say, yeah, they could wake up looking through a glass window, too. Pretty smart. That was her way of saying, don't get too excited about spring of the year. You may see some more cold weather. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, um, and she's right. I tell you, for um, she's exactly right. Uh, on this 1992, I believe it was. It was uh, April the 21st. And the tobacco farmers around here was already putting in their fertilizer to plant their tobacco. My neighbors made pictures of uh, where they put in fertilized and the ground was white with snow. Oh my God. There's you. And that ties in with what little grandma used to say about the frogs peeping through a glass window. Mm -hmm. 